Call me Bucky Nick, it's lucky that I'm innocent uh, If I didn't have no morals, I'd be menacing uh, How about a nigga rapping conscious but he ignorant uh, How he find a hood but still gon' go legitimate What up, what up, what up? This your boy, Big D. Um, just want to give you my input. I've been riding this can and Riker since August. I purchased it on August 2022. I have the 20, I have the 2022 Riker Sports. And man, I never thought I'd be riding anything on two or three wheel. But so far, man, I love it. I, I, I love this Riker, man. I love everything about it, man. It's, it's awesome, bro. I mean, um, let me tell you, my first experience, first of all, let me, let me tell you, I've been wanting one of these since the spider came out. I posted on my Facebook um, probably about seven or eight years ago. And I was like, man, one day I'm going to get one of these. And uh, that was before the Riker came out. So finally, the Riker comes out. And man, I was like, damn, I like that kind of better than the older Spider. I still love the newer Spiders. But the older Spiders, they look pretty good too. And I wanted one of those until I saw the Riker. I was like, you know what? I like the Riker a little bit better than... Uh, I like the spider because it was so much more you can do to it as far as customizing it. So I was like, you know what, I'm going to get that right. I had been looking at it for a, at least a year. And I finally pulled the trigger and I was like, you know what, I'm going to go ahead and get it. Took the class because I never drove a motorcycle. I never drove a trike or, or anything on two or three wheels. So I, I was, covered my ass and I, and I uh, took the class and I was like, okay. I took the class, passed the test. The class was awesome. I went to uh, Mountain Motorsports uh, in, in uh, Lithonia, uh, in Lithonia, Georgia. I took, uh, I took the uh, Can-Am class, two-day class, and the guy was awesome, man. He was all about safety. He was all about if you didn't get it, he was gonna make sure you got it. Um, so that class was worth the $200 because I'd never driven anything on two or three wheels. Um, so then when I purchased my Riker, I didn't purchase it at the same location, but I did purchase it from Mountain Motorsports and I, I, purchased, it, I purchased it in the one in uh, I think Lawrenceville. So my scariest part was, man, I haven't driven, I haven't driven this thing, but only one, th one time, and that's when I was, uh, when I did the class. And I'm like, damn, how am I gonna get this thing home, man? I was terrified because I live an hour and 20 minutes from where I purchased it from. And uh, my wife was like, well, I'm just gonna have to trail you, trail behind you, man. You talking about somebody was nervous, because this was going to be the first real trip on the highway ever. And I was so nervous, dog. I was nervous as I don't know what, man. But once I got on it, the first 15 minutes, I was, I was nervous, man. I, I ain't going to lie. I was scared to death. But after, after the first 15 minutes, oh, man, I was good. I was good. I started, I started maneuvering back and forth and swerving in and out or whatever. And, uh, you know, I wasn't, I wasn't trying to keep up uh, with the cars behind me or, you know, they want to go around, they can go around. It was my first time, man. I had to make sure that I was, I was safe. And then not only that, my wife, she was trailing me and I was, I was you know, she was already kind of nervous for me. So um, once I got at home, you know, I sat back, looked at it, and I was like, man, I love it. I love it. It was plain Jane. It was, you know, I hadn't did anything to it. But I was like, you know what? Here it is. I got it. I'm ready. You know, I took it around the neighborhood. Every day I got off work, 
I spent at least 30 minutes to an hour just driving it, taking, you know, getting used to it and, you know, driving around the subdivision and the neighborhood, just getting used to it. So then, this two and a half weeks later, you know, I'm driving back and forth to work on it. I get a little too comfortable, a little too comfortable. And uh, leaving work one day, um, I was leaving work one day before I pulled out the parking lot. You know, my friends, they were admiring it. They was like, man, that thing is nice. Uh, uh. You know, I was like, yeah, this is my baby, man. This is my new baby, you know. I'm... So right before I pulled off, trying to show off, underestimated, forgot everything the guy taught me about safety or whatever, whatever. Trying to show off, left the parking lot, was pulling out of the parking lot, and had my hand in the wrong position on the throttle. So when you're driving, you know, when you're taking your test, when we took our test, the guy informed us, you you hold your hand at an angle, and uh, let me see, at an angle like this, so when you throttle down, you're not giving it that much speed. I went in like this, and I turned, and lost control, ran over a curve. Matter of fact, right out here, uh, I don't know if you can see that gray car, but right out, right on the other side of that gray Nissan, there's a, there's a curve. I hit that curve, over that curve, and ran directly into that fence. And I was like, damn. Look back, and two of my coworkers, you know, we all pretty cool or whatever. They couldn't do nothing. They couldn't do nothing but laugh, you know. I had to laugh right along with it because it, it was funny. But the good thing was there was not there there were not that there were not that many cars out here. Uh, it was only like two or three cars out here. So, uh, it, but just so happened the the car one of the cars that was out here was two feet from me almost hitting it. And I, and, I, and I ran into the fence. And I was like, damn. Damn. I said, I don't fuck my Riker up. Excuse, excuse my French. I don't fuck my Riker up. I'm like, man, I don't mess my damn bike up. So, it was at an angle where one end was on the curb, the other was on the, uh, was on the, uh, on the, on the lot. As my, as my coworker to help me, uh, you know, lift it and get it off the curb. He hit, lift it, help me lift it, get off the curb. Uh, and I actually bent, not bent, I actually flat the tire. And I was like, damn, the tire flat. Well, on my Riker, it had one of those tires where you can drive uh, 50 miles before it completely goes flat. So I made it to the nearest um, tire service place. He said, hey man, I, I can plug it, man, but I can't charge you. If I charge you, I'll be liable. I understand that. So he plugged it for me. I made it back to Mountain Motorsports. I asked him to check everything out for me. And, and the, the tire, he changed the tire. The rim wasn't bent, thank God. Uh, he checked everything out. Everything was great. He was like, man, let me tell you one thing about these Riker, what a lot of people don't know, they are a replica of a snow, a snowmobile or a snow machine. So they take a little bit more hit than people think. They're not as delicate as a lot of people think. They take a little hit. You know, I ain't saying go out and start hitting and bumping over curves, but they do take a little, they, they are a little bit durable than people think they are. So once I got it fixed and everything, the very next day, I went back up to the tire service and I made, I said, hey man, I got the tire fits and everything, everything great, man. But I just had to give you something for at least, you know, plugging it up for me. I said, so he looked at the tire, I was like, let me give you something, man. Let me give you, let me, let me give you 30 or 40 dollars or something, get you some lunch. So he didn't want to take it, you know, I pat him on the back and put it down the back of his shirt, made him take it because he's, I, I wouldn't have made it home and 
not only that, getting a tow service toward in Atlanta is like pulling teeth. So I say that to say this, man. Do not under if you are in the business of getting a Riker, do not underestimate these bikes, man. They are, woo, they're faster and pop more powerful than you think. These Rikers are, are powerful machines, man. So don't underestimate them. They are, they are pretty, they are pretty fast, man. I have the 900 Sport. Um, in in this this was before I did anything to it. This was before I uh, changed the exhaust or did anything to it, and it had that that much torque and speed. So I underestimated it because I never drove them driven a motorcycle or, or a trike or anything with three wheels. So if you're in the business of getting a Riker, I say they are fun, but don't underestimate them. Don't underestimate the speed, don't underestimate the power. Be careful, take the class. If you, have, if you don't know how to ride a motorcycle or a trike, please take the class. Please be safe. And hey man, just have fun. Don't try to keep up with those other guys y'all see uh, on these videos, man. I love watching the videos of all these uh, uh, Riker riders, man. To each his own, you know, uh, uh, what's those guys, Philly, uh, Riker Philly, Philly Riker guys, or I, I might be getting it wrong, but I love watching their videos. But hey, man, I ain't got to that point where I can I can actually ride with them yet, man. They they do their thing, man. I love watching their videos, the uh, Riker Rally Boys. Uh, they are awesome, man. I love watching that channel, but I haven't got to that point yet where I can keep up with them. But to each his own. Uh, like I said, man, have fun on your Riker. Be careful. Be safe. This is Big D. With my experience, my first experience on my Riker. Y'all be easy. Peace.